Right here we have this innocent looking tin, and as you can see when I tap it, it controls the lights in this room. Uh, up here I've got strip lighting around my room, and just simply touching this tin here, uh, sitting here under this monitor, it controls the lights. The way I'm doing that is I'm using the CapSense library on an AT Tiny, just stuck on a breadboard, a uh, perf board really. Nice cheap single sided one. Got an AT Tiny and a socket. It's an AT Tiny 85. Uh, one resistor. And I programmed it with the Arduino library. Right here, we've got an Xbox 360 power supply jack. I desoldered it from a very dead red. Uh, Red Ring of Death Xbox 360. Uh, puts out a nice 5 volt standby power and that is powering the AT Tiny. When the AT Tiny sees me tap that button, it toggles the uh, output on or off, which turns on or off the 12 volt output from the Xbox 360 power supply, which turns these lights on and off. They're running off the 12 volt from the Xbox 360 power supply. Got the lights all the way around my room. They light the place up quite nicely. Now, you might think that this is a switch, but there's only one wire running from it. As you know, switches need two wires. Um, let me pop this open. There are stylus tips inside this. It's just a metal tin, um, even without the cap, cap on it. It's still a light switch, and it's still a fully functional tin. On the back of here, I soldered this wire directly to the tin. Uh, I'm all upsetting things. So the uh, the tin it, it it's just really sensing the touch um, using the CapSense library to turn the lights on and off.